So Huawei has just announced two new tablets and one of it is their flagship tablet, the Huawei MatePad Air. So this one is more powerful, has a lot more features and of course this one comes with a really good display. Hey guys, I'm Jam of JamOnline.ph and today we're going to do a review of the Huawei MatePad Air. So first things first, let's talk about the build quality of this tablet. So compared to the Huawei MatePad 11.5, this one has a different back. So this one has a shiny, shimmering back. The one that we got comes in black. And yes, those are, uh, I believe, smudges. It's very attractive to smudges. But thankfully, we got here the smart keyboard cover, which is also a wireless keyboard. So if you want to use this one, remove it from the keyboard, place it like this. You can still use the keyboard because this one is a wireless keyboard. This one is connected through Bluetooth and this one charges using the Pogo pins. So going back to the tablet, again, this one is the Air, MatePad Air. That's why it's light. The materials are really light. However, I am not a fan of the materials that was used for the frame. I was expecting a little bit more solid for this one since this is a flagship tablet. But below we got here the Pogo pins. Of course, this, uh, the card tray for the SIM card. Yes, it does support SIM card. And of course, we got here the USB Type-C. And for the charging, this tablet supports 40 watts charging. Not the fastest one, but definitely just fine for a tablet. At the top of this tablet is the uh, power button. And uh, on the other side is the volume rocker. And of course, here at the back, we got here the camera uh, setup. It's only a single camera here. It's a 13 megapixel rear camera. While for the front camera, which is placed over here, it's an 8 megapixel uh, front camera. But unlike the Huawei Mate Pad Air, you can charge the M Pencil by just magnetically attaching it at the top of this tablet. But since this one is made for productivity, I highly suggest that you use the keyboard cover all the time for the Huawei Mate Pad Air. So this one also comes with an 11.5 inch display. But unlike the 11.5, this one comes with a resolution of 2800 by 1840. It's an LCD display, unfortunately, an IPS one. But this one comes with a refresh rate of 144 hertz. This is why drawing on Huawei Notes on this tablet feels smoother and better compared to other Huawei tablets that we have tried before. And yes, this is a 3 by 2 aspect ratio, so multitasking as well on the tablet is a lot better compared to 16 by 9. So you could do side by side application and you still get more content to see on the tablet. In my usage of the Huawei MatePad Air, I was actually using this one for uh, 3 days or 2 days without charging. So uh, of course, it's an on and off. I uh, use it for productivity, a little bit of gaming, but overall, the, the battery life of the Huawei MatePad Air is quite good. Speaking of display, we got here again a really responsive display. So I've been also using it for, uh, you know, drawing things like that a while ago. I hope you didn't see that one because it was terrible. But yeah, the M Pencil is quite responsive. And again, it really helps that we got here a really good display, a 144Hz refresh rate, and of course, a processor that is on a flagship level. So we wouldn't really delve into much about the processor of this tablet because this one runs on Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 processor, which is a little bit dated. But despite that, it's still a powerful processor, this 2023, and still on a flagship level. So I've been using this one for Honkai uh, Star Rail and also for Genshin Impact, which are really heavy games compared to Call of Duty Mobile. But yes, you could download applications at the Huawei App Gallery and of course, install install other applications such as Google Docs, Sheets uh, directly from the app gallery using Gbox as well. So for the processor part, well, we still got here a really good performance when it comes to uh, benchmarks, whether that's PC Mark or 3D Mark. I'm still happy with the results that we got here with the Huawei uh, MatePad Air. Now you probably know what I think about uh, the hardware of the tablet. Now let's proceed to the feature that I really want to focus in with the Huawei MatePad Air. And that's the software and productivity on the tablet. Anyway, so this is the Huawei MatePad Air. So I want to show you how the software works. So this one runs on Harmony OS. Don't mind the device name and the model name. This is a uh, unit in advance. 
But yeah, we got here the Snapdragon 888 and the 8GB of RAM along with the 256GB of internal storage. The resolution, again, is quite crisp. That's why I love looking at the display of this one and the colors are quite great. And the best part about this tablet is the WPS Office, which is on a PC level. So if we're gonna open a new tab, create a new document, so I'm gonna show you how good this one is. So as you can see in here, we got here uh, the style of an office application similar to a laptop or desktop. We got here all the things that you want insert page layout references review view section so yes this is a pc level experience on a tablet on a device that is so light so uh, typing on this one creating documents creating review on this one is a lot better i really appreciate this one and i wish that other tablets would have this feature this is why i was uh, really looking forward for a desktop mode for uh, Harmony OS similar to EMUI desktop on a tablet like this. It would be really awesome if they have a desktop mode on a screen size uh, like this. And uh, of course, this one is quite powerful already. It's a Snapdragon 888 processor, not the best one, but definitely still a powerful one for 2020. Three. And of course, like what I've said earlier, we got your different applications. We've downloaded these applications on Huawei App Gallery. If you're really curious about this one, the tap applications are actually running on Gbox. We got your Gmail, Google. So yeah, basically, you can run Google applications such as Google Docs, Google Meet for school or uh, for work. We got everything that you need on this one. All right, so... This is Harmony OS. Don't be confused with that one. This one is really uh, optimized for uh, tablet screen size and the UI is really great. Now, the thing with Harmony OS is that it syncs great with other Huawei devices. So, I have here the Huawei P60 Pro and I want to use Super Device on this one, which is a really cool feature. You see me just swipe down, uh, press the Huawei P60 Pro and this one is already connected. Now, my smartphone's display is already on the Huawei MatePad Air. That is multi-screen collaboration. I could also use other features such as, uh, you know, screen sharing with the Huawei MateBook. Use this one as my external monitor wirelessly, which is pretty cool. All right, so you've seen uh, most of the features that I love about uh, this tablet, but again, it's a combination of software and hardware. So having this keyboard is a really, uh, really nice touch for Huawei. Again, I've been typing my reviews on this tablet, but I do wish that they have a trackpad on this one. It's a really nice keyboard, but they don't have a trackpad for this one. So navigating on this really small button is a little bit annoying for me. That's why I've been using M Pencil if I want to navigate and touch other buttons on this one because some other buttons uh, like this one are too cramped and too close to each other. That's why I was using uh, the Huawei M Pencil for this one. But uh, overall, still a nice tablet made for productivity. Again, not the best one out there, but definitely made for productivity. Of course, we got here the Huawei Notes. If you want to take down notes, draw some images if you want. I'm not really good at drawing, but I'm pretty sure that a lot of you would appreciate Huawei Notes application, which is really optimized for the M Pencil. M Pencil. Yeah, I suck at drawing and I suck at writing. So yeah, that's it for the productivity part of the Huawei MatePad Air. Overall, the Huawei MatePad Air is definitely not the most powerful or the best tablet out there. But if you're in the Huawei ecosystem, you would definitely appreciate how this one syncs with other Huawei devices, whether that's an earbuds or the smartphone or even their laptop as we got here a really fo a focus on productivity with the MatePad Air. It's not the newest processor, but it's still powerful. The display on this one is really good. And of course, I appreciate that we got here the keyboard cover on the MatePad Air. Now, I wish that there's the EMUI uh, desktop on this one. But uh, yeah, we have to really rely on Harmony OS or, you know, this UI similar to a tablet. And 
I really wish that they have a desktop mode for this one because it would be awesome if we got here a desktop mode uh, with this tablet as we are using this one for productivity and we got here a PC level WPS office. So I guess that's it for our video of uh, the Huawei MatePad Air. So if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and be sure to click that subscribe button along with that bell button to get notified of our latest videos here in my YouTube channel. So once again, I am Jamfjamonline.ph. Thank you for watching and see you guys again in our next video.